Dark Hall Gaming. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, I like reading books. Bookworm? Yes, I am. Yeah, I love music. No evil. Mellophile? What's Mellophile? Oh, okay. Yeah, that one. Music lover. Oh! Just some. No way! I don't even play the PS4. Then what the hell is this? Why is it okay for people to call you a bookworm or a music lover? But when someone mentions the term gamer, they all look like this. Well, let's try to talk about that. And hopefully, by the end of this episode, you will have a different perception of the term gamer. Hello and good day, I'm Jeff and welcome to Dark How Gaming where learning and gaming equals fun. Guys, it's episode 2 of Let's Talk Gaming and this time it's all about the term gamer. The term gamer is quite an interesting word to define. In fact, it has a lot of definition which means it's hard to really decide as to the most prominent one. According to Dictionary.com, a gamer is a person who plays games, especially computer or video games. Very simple, don't you think? Based on that definition, every person who touches and plays a video game is a gamer. But for me, a gamer is a person who plays video games and likes playing it as a hobby, a form of entertainment and even as a way of learning without really counting the number of hours they played. But then again, why do people cringe upon hearing the word gamer? Non-gamers view of the term gamer is mostly negative because of the stigma that comes along with video games. Back in the past, video games were viewed as more of a toy and only a means to have fun for children. Also during those days, some fear-mongering people would make some news showing how video games can destroy learning, rot the brain, and sometimes they would even say that it's bad for your health. But as time goes by, these non-gamers started to believe in the negativity towards gaming, hence the bad connotations we still have around the word gamer. Nowadays, these non-gamers don't even believe that playing video games is considered a hobby or it isn't regarded a job to make and design video games. <sighs> Sadly, if that is the case, then people like this guy or this guy are all immature and should go look for a job. They are so tunnel vision with how video games negatively affects the society and that is because of how we were brought up. Since the children in the past are now grown up, society kind of expects them to be more mature and focus on work and what they think is actually socially acceptable like playing sports or even playing fantasy football which is kind of weird. On the other hand, gamers' view of the term gamers is a bit mixed. Some are actually very proud to say that they are a gamer. Some, they don't even want to be labeled as a gamer. That is because of what I said before, they don't want to be judged by the non-gamers. Some even try not to include gaming or anything that is related to games in their interests or hobby. That is just because they want to impress a girl. But really. Who are you lying to? Actually, now that I think about it, when it comes to relationships and video games, I think that is a good topic for, for some other time. Let's, let's do that. But there is one thing that really breaks my heart. And that is for some gamers view of who are to be called gamers. Because of this, there are subcategories for the term gamer, which will be another topic. 
Now, some of them only believe that you're a gamer if you do play PC-only games. Some would even bash their fellow gamers, saying that you're not a gamer if you haven't played Famicom. Or you're not a gamer because you don't play first-person shooter games. These are some of the reasons that practically destroys the positive view of us gamers. So how do we deal with the term gamer? Well, it's all about how you view the term. I'm proud to say that I'm a gamer. I may not be a hardcore or a core gamer, but I'm passionate about gaming. And because of that, even if someone, a stranger or a relative, bashes what I love, I would just say and answer that I love video games. I love playing it because it makes me happy. It makes me learn new things and it also readies me for the future. Because really, technology is just gonna improve and we cannot stop that. That is innovation. We the gamers have to understand that social acceptance of video games and the term gamer will take some time. But each of us has a role to play for it to get accepted. We should respect other players other gamers and even non-gamers because it is during this time that we become the role models. There's a lot of gamers out there that do gaming and they are passionate about it and in turn they actually try to use whatever they learn or whatever they get in order to help other people and also they empower other people. They become the role models of the young generation and those young generation will lead us to the future. Video games have changed for the better and so should you. Be honest with yourself, if you play video games no matter how long it is or whatever platform you're using, you are a gamer. The important thing is that you realize that we are no different from people being called a music lover, a movie buff, or even a bookworm. Because for all of these, they love what they are doing. And you shouldn't be ashamed of what you love. You have to stay true to yourself, defend what is passionate to you, and show them what you believe in. And in due time, the term gamer is going to be a positive norm. So guys, that's it. If you are passionate about video games and if you believe you are a gamer, please do let me know what you think about this episode in the comments below. Now, if you are a non-gamer, then lucky me because you actually dropped by this video. Please do also let me know what you think about the term gamer. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do smash that button and of course give me a thumbs up. Now. Help me with this one and in turn we could have fun in learning through video games. And we also get to empower other gamers out there because we all need it. Now, please do check out my other channels. Uh, sorry, not my channels, my videos. My videos over here. That's pretty much it. Thank you very much. Please do take care and I'll see you again next time. Bye.